Hey! Today's video, we're gonna be playing hide and seek. If you don't know what hide and seek is, it's this very scary paranormal game. Basically, grab a doll, do a few things to it. Supposedly, it will come alive, play hide and seek with you, and chase after you, which is kind of creepy because I don't think no object should be able to just get up and go and try to go after you. I've seen a lot of videos and stuff about this, so I'm hoping maybe we can get a reaction or something similar to somebody else. Currently, it is 3:04 a.m. This is the hour of the spirits. Supposedly, most paranormal activity happens right now. I'm gonna be playing today's game with my little sister Mackenzie. So I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing the doll now. I'm gonna walk you guys through it step by step. So if you wanna play yourself, you can just go ahead and follow my guide. I'm gonna show you everything you have to do. Always be careful and be safe if you are gonna play. And let's get this video rolling. All right, so I got all the stuff ready and lined up. I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff you need to play the game. And then I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the doll. I'm gonna walk you through that process also. And then once we get that done, we're gonna go ahead and get into the game. First off, let me show you guys the items. So I chose this for my doll, a teddy bear. I got it at Walmart, it was like $5. This is gonna be the salt. I'm gonna use for my salt water the red thread with the needle so I can sew the doll back up This is gonna be the rice right here I'm gonna use to put inside the doll. Okay, so now I'm gonna set up my tripod put the bear on the counter I'm gonna cut them open put the rice and do all that stuff and get them ready to play All right, so this is the bear right here I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting them up and insert the rice All right, so we got all the stuffing out of the poor bear. As you can see, there's nothing left. He's real flabby now and lifeless. So now I'm gonna go ahead and fill it with rice and get on to the next step. Game over. All right, I'm gonna start pouring the rice in. We have the bear done, he's full with rice. Me and Mackenzie have now each given a piece of fingernail. We're gonna put it inside the bear as the DNA so that the bear may come to life. Doll is now filled with everything we need. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the red thread, sew them up, and we'll be on to the next part of the game. All right, so the hardest part of this so far was getting the thread through the needle, but I finally got it done. It took me a while. What I'm gonna do is just do it from the back since I have one hole, thankfully, and I don't have to sew multiple parts. So just try to do this the best I can. I'm not a professional sewer, I've never sewed before in my life, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a try, and hopefully it comes out pretty good. That's the last piece right here. Now I'm going to cut this off and then I'm going to wrap it with the rest of this thread right here. There you have it. Our doll is now finished. He is fully sewed, wrapped around, and now he's ready to play. All right, so I had to put this in place. I'll keep the water for the bear. So I'm going to start filling this up now. Okay, we have our water filled now. So now we're going to go put our salt water in our hiding spot. Then we're going to come back and put the bear in the water. Let's go ahead and get this process done. We also need to turn the lights off while we're doing this too. So we're going to go ahead and start turning all the lights off in the house. Okay. Let's go over here. Where should we hide at? You want to see over here against oh, the window? Like, oh, we got that scary window. I know. You want to close it? No, I think we should sit right there. Right here? Yeah, but you, you get that song, we get this right here. <laughs> All right, so now the salt water's there. We decided to name our bear Billy. So now we got to go ahead and put Billy in the water. We're going to go turn all the lights off, count to 10 in our hiding spot, come back, stab Billy, and then the game supposedly will begin. I'm going to be playing in night vision mode since everything's going to be dark. We're not allowed to use light, so you'll be seeing that. Let's go ahead and get it started. Wish us luck. Hopefully everything goes good. Your name is Billy. Matthew is it. Matthew is it. Matthew is it. Kenzie is it. Mackenzie is it. Mackenzie is it. Alright, now we're gonna start turning all the lights off. Let's turn off this black light. Okay. <laughs> Close that, close that. Close one. Close one. Close it. 
this is what we're gonna have. We can't find the static channel, but this is what we can do. So we'll see if anything changes on here while we play. But we're gonna go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We should take a nap of our own. I have found you, Billy. Billy is it. Billy is it. Billy is it. Just in case. Get the fuck out of here. Go, go, go. <laughs> Alright y'all, now we're just sitting here waiting, we gotta sit here and wait and see if we hear any noises or see any static, but that is like fucking crazy, I feel so uneasy and like, I don't know, I just feel really weird, I stabbed Billy pretty hard too. What the fuck? Oh my god, I'm scared to touch this motherfucker. I win, I win, I win. I win, I win, I win. Alright, so that's probably the scariest thing I think I've ever done. That shit got my heart racing so fast. Like we we heard a little noise and stuff while we were sitting there. It sounded like we heard feet walking and stuff. How do you how do you right. feel? What do you, what do you, what do you think about that? I definitely heard footsteps and when we walked over here, it sounded like 
Like, when we when we came over, literally when we came out, the knife started moving. As soon as we opened the door, literally no bullshit. I don't know if you can hear it on the video. As soon as we turned that corner, this fucking knife right here, this fucking knife like moved. I don't know, like maybe Billy was gonna get ready to move or something, and then maybe he heard us open the door, and then maybe it just like dropped the knife. I don't know. But it was like really, really fucking creepy. Like literally, as soon as we opened the door, the knife just literally just like fell. Like, oh my god. I don't know, I'm just, I'm scared, my heart is still racing. Just sitting there with my sister and hearing all the noises that went around and stuff, and then coming back and opening that door and hearing that fucking knife fall, the scariest thing ever, that literally scared the shit out of me. I don't know, it was fucking crazy. Literally, as soon as we opened that door, that fucking knife fell. I don't know if he was getting ready to move or if he was moving or what the fuck, but that was really, really fucking creepy. I recommend none of you play this game, because... I don't know, I wouldn't play this game if you're really scared easily. For me, I can kind of handle scary stuff a little bit, but even this game got to me. Like, even this scared me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go ahead and cut Billy's lifeline right here. All right, so that's the end of the game. Pouring that salt water and all that supposedly ends it. So now we're gonna go ahead and go outside and we're gonna try to burn the doll and get this over with so we ain't gotta fucking deal with it no more. Right now is the start of Billy's funeral. Let's keep him outside and say goodbye. All right, Billy for the most part is done for. We're gonna go ahead and throw him in the fire. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for me and my sister. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's one of the scariest things I've ever did in my life. Billy is still currently burning. If you guys like the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe. If you have any suggestions for videos you want to see next, be sure to comment down below and let me know what it is. It's been too crucial. Hope to see you guys in my next video. Be safe out there. I'm out. Peace.